Waiting up, saving all. What was your name again? Lexi. Lexi. Lexi Howard. How you doing? Good. I'm... I like that. That's a nice name. Before we learned our truth. Damn, Lexi. You fucking fearless. Trying to fade, fading away. I just want to tell you that talking to you was one of the best parts of my whole year. To tell me down, to tell me can you turn around? But either way, Lexi had thought about that night a lot. How could Fesco be so kind to her and so violent towards Nate? She couldn't remember the last time someone her age asked her so many questions about herself. He actually cared about what she had to say. And then 10 minutes later... Tell me more, tell me something I don't. Where'd you go? I was starting to miss you. Why would I lie? You're like the coolest person in here. All I could think about were the bad thoughts. <laughs> the things that could go wrong. The people I could lose and the million and one reasons why I'm not good enough. Why are you always doing that shit? What? I don't know, like doubting yourself and shit. Oh, I don't know. Do you ever think about the future? Yeah, all the thoughts. I'll be thinking about living on a farm, you know? This is me, this is have a little family. My plan is to have like three kids at 30. Well, uh, aren't you glad that we became friends? Yeah. <laughs> Very much so. Yeah. Me too. That's what I like about you the most, though. Like, we don't really have nothing in common. We both have the same sense of humor and are empathic and curious. A little bit ago, I was talking to a friend about this play, and I asked him, what if I upset people? And he said to me, You know, some people, some people need to get their feelings hurt sometimes. So even though he couldn't be here with us tonight, This one's for you.